Well, hey, welcome to the saxophone factory. I'm at my home studio, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of my instruments in my home studio. I keep my instruments at my at my work studio. But I had a student today um, that was, we were talking about minor scales, and I really wanted to get a lesson in on minor scales and how I approach minor scales. Um, first of all, I want you to learn all your major scales first. Learn all 12 of your major scales. Because then making the transition to natural minor scales, frankly, is a lot easier. And I'm, I, I, I tell all my students, I'm, what I'm here to do is, excuse me, not to make this more difficult for you, but to simplify it for you. To, to crack the code for you, to make it easier for you. So the, 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 the first um, piece of that puzzle is to learn your major scales. Okay, let's, take, let's make the assumption that you have learned your, your that, and, and that, that you have solid your C major scale. That you can play from C to C C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, from memory, and you are conversant in that scale. Well, what is the relative minor of your C scale? Well, if you count up to the sixth, sixth scale degree, you will find that you are on the note A. That is the relative minor cousin, so to speak, the relative minor of the key the, uh, of C major. Now, I'm not going to talk about what scale degrees are low. I'm, I'm not going to talk about any of that because you at this point, you don't need to. You know that A is a relative minor of C. A is the relative minor of C. If we look at the chart here, which way am I pointing? If we look at the chart here, you can see that the A minor scale, and this is a natural minor scale, starts on A. A. You can see that. And it goes from A to A. And there are no flats or sharps in the key signature. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. I'm not going to talk about the lower third. I'm not going to talk about the lower seventh. I'm not talk about any of that stuff. Don't worry about it right now. It's not necessary for actually learning how to play the scale. We can deconstruct it later, but it's not necessary for learning how to play the scale if you can first play your major scales and you can count to six. That's all you need to be able to do. Let's put that in practice. Let's look at the next scale on our chart, the D minor scale. First of all, let's look at the key signature. The key signature here has one flat. So what, what scale do you know that has one flat? It's the F major scale. Very good. Now, if you count up six notes in F major, you will get to D. F, G, A, B flat, C, D. D is the first note of the D natural minor scale. The key signature is the same as the F scale. The same key signature. You can, now you just play D to D in the key of F. And that is your D natural minor scale. Now, I'm old. We used to say pure minor scale back in the day, but now I guess everyone's calling it natural because maybe it's not so pure. Maybe it had an OnlyFans. I'm not sure why it's not pure anymore, but it's the pure minor scale. Excuse me, I'm enjoying some bubbly. All right. Let's look at the scale next to it. It is the E minor scale. Don't look at that yet. Look at the key signature. Look at the key signature. The key signature here has one sharp. You see that? Key signature has one sharp. 
what what major scale do you know that has one sharp? That's right, G. Your G scale has one sharp. So let's count up. And what I do is I usually have my instrument and I use my instrument to help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. E. E is the sixth note, the sixth note in the G scale and the relative minor of G major. Now all I have to do is play from E to E in the key of G. G has one sharp and we can see the scale here. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. And so on. Here's a, here is a chart of all 12 of our may of our natural minor scales there we are and it works in all of our keys let's see we have one two three four five six seven fourteen fifteen there we go it is very very simple if you have questions please put them down in the comments. I am going to do a video where I'm actually playing them on my instrument so you can hear what they sound like and we can do a review. And then we'll go on to our harmonic minor scales, which I, like I said, like I, I didn't say that, I, I think in, the, in the, my practice video I said this, but I'll say it to you now. We're not dealing with harmonic minor or melodic minor scales at this point. We are only dealing with natural minor scales. Okay? All right. Until we see you again, keep playing.